Young lady, this is strictly a job for professionals. Then why are the two of you going? That was an unmitigated disaster for President Biden. I've never seen a politician at any level perform. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look. It was a slow start. That's obvious to everyone. I'm not going to debate that point. was agony in Atlanta uh, for Joe Biden, for Democrats, and frankly, for anyone around the world dreading another Donald Trump presidency, because the chances of another Trump presidency just increase. Now, please welcome the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. Looks like he was going to barely make it to the podium. And there he is, bounding onto the stage. Just a few weeks short of 78 years old, determined not to show it right now. I got to take a look at what I was left when I became president, <laughs> what Mr. Trump left. to be almost home. We created 15,000 new jobs. <clears throat> we brought out in the, the position where we have 800,000 new manufacturing jobs, but there's more to be done. Joe Biden sounded hoarse. <laughs> yes, sir, I think America is the greatest country in the world. Yes, sir, I like it. How do you feel about the president's decisions during this terrible crisis? Mm. I think the president did what he had to do. His energy level appeared to be low, and at multiple points during the debate, he lost. President Biden stumbled and fell today at the U.S. Air Force Academy uh, graduation. The White House says that he is fine, that he was on stage, greeted the graduate. Would you mind please closing those doors? Oh, these. Close them together. Oh, all right. Yeah. They scooted one. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. If they just paid 24%. 25 percent either one of those numbers they raised 500 million dollars billion dollars i should say i'll be the first to admit that that was not a good look in that debate last night what does that guy meaning joe biden look like in three years in a negotiation with a world leader i don't want to find out the answer to that question biden gave a very shaky performance and i think the real danger for him is that this was a performance that reinforces concerns voters already had about him. We know the biggest uh, thing voters uh, worry about. There are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Mr. Magoo Syndrome.
Is Mr. Magoo offensive to people with blindness or visual impairments? And why was Mr. Magoo canceled? I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie. He's the six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight? Never. But I have, you know, I mean, how, I've seen you swing. I know you swing. Donald Trump didn't prepare nearly as much. He, you know, he went to a rally. He, uh, he did podcast interviews. And if someone asked him, "How are you preparing?" He's, "I'm preparing by taking questions from you," uh, which is not traditional debate prep. Biden did not only do traditional debate prep, which is you know you have a mock debate in a in a, in a mock studio. He holed up with his advisors at Camp David. I did when, for example, he wants to get away with, get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, to for the ability to, for the, us to be able to negotiate drug prices with a big pharma company. Well, guess what? We got it, we got it down to 15, excuse me, $35. We are the lowest trade deficit with China since 2010. Thank you, you President Biden. You lost Thank you, President Biden. Biden. And we should encourage businesses to hold, to have... Thank you, President Biden. Facilities. President Trump, the question was about what would you do to make child care more affordable? I made sure every company in the world, every pharmaceutical company, cannot have to pay. Thank you. And by the way... Come on, Waldo! Uh -huh. Follow me! Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, you're scatterbrain. Yeah. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the... Uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. I, I think that was one of the, you know, absolute low points for the president in last night's debate. Um, you know, he lost his train of thought. He uh, had an exceptionally long pause. Biden couldn't get back to the road. He just failed to articulate the case for his own presidency. And it happened early in the debate when the, the it has, you know, there's the largest uh, viewership. And it's, it's going to make history. It, it, it was a moment people will remember uh, forever, as long as they remember these debates. Distinguished guests, please welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin. What do you say to voters who believe that you violated that oath through your actions and inaction on January 6th and worry that you'll do it again? Well, I don't think too many believe that. And let me tell you about January 6th. On January 6th, we had a great border. On January 6th, we were energy independent. On January 6th, we had the lowest taxes ever. On January 6th, we were respected all over. God bless you. What were you talking about? You have the morals of an alley cat. He struggled to connect basic facts together, struggled to make the elevator pitch for his presidency, which you think would be a relatively simple thing for an experienced politician to do. He continually lost his train of thought, mumbling, bumbling, stumbling, bumbling, dazed and confused. He did nothing to disabuse, I think, the country of the notion that he is very old and was lost frequently. Two, 10, 12, 15, whoops, stepping on him. It was a, it's black, anyway. I'm not going to spend all night with you talking about the last 90 minutes. 
Well, when I've been watching the last three and a half years of performance. Joe had the strangest, weirdest stare. His answers were rambling. Welcome to Brazil, accompanied by the Director General of the International Labor Organization. And to say to President Biden, can you hear me, President Biden? This is a historical moment for Brazil. I love that guy. That's a good man. He loves his country. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. Uh, but he had a test to meet tonight uh, to restore confidence uh, uh, of, of the country and of the base. And he failed to do that. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Not to deceive you, Mr. President. You don't turn your back because of one performance. What kind of party does that? His job was to calm his party, to make them feel that, yes, I can do this. I have four more years in me. He did not do that. He did the opposite. <laughs> He looks like he's barely surviving. I don't mean the debate, I mean life. There is a deep, a wide, and a very aggressive panic in the Democratic Party. is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a uh, foot. Excuse me. The question is, could it be that Democrats now have to reconsider? Mr. Haney? We're doing it for the first time now in the 20th cent, 21st century, going into the 20th from the 20th century going into the second quarter of the 21st century, that we'd say 12 years is enough. I think 12 years is enough in the, going into 20, 30, 40, 50. And I want to thank the Prime Minister of for Colombia's leadership and the ASEAN. I got stand Who the hell are you? Ortega Peru, worth it to you. Mr. Peru never goes anywhere. That's right, I never go anywhere. So when I go somewhere, everyone thinks I'm nowhere when I'm really there. <laughs> Let's put the show on the road. I'm sorry, Mr. Peru, uh, this way. There are no signs. It was the worst jewel heist in history. Ah! 
the only witness to the crime didn't see a thing. Now, Mr. Magoo is going undercover. But he doesn't have a clue. Magoo is going down! I have a surprise. So do I! This Christmas, you won't believe your eyes. Ugliest child I've ever seen. Fade away, yeah. 